Here comes Charlie. These two very old people are the father and mother of Mr. Bucket. Their names are Grandpa George and Grandma Josephine. And these two very old people are the father and mother of Mrs. Bucket. Their names are Grandpa George and Grandma Georgina. This is, this is Mr. Bucket. This is Mrs. Bucket. Mr. and Mrs. Bucket have a small boy whose name is Charlie Bucket. This is Charlie. How do you do? And how do you do? And how do you do again? He is pleased to meet you. The whole of this family, the six grown up, Ken Ben and little Charlie Bucket live together in a small wooden house on the edge of a great town. The house wasn't nearly large enough for so many people and life was extremely uncomfortable for them all. There were only two rooms in the place all together and there were there was only one bed. The bed was given to the four old grandparents because they were so old and tired, they were so tired, they never got out of it. Grandpa Drew and Grand Grandpa Drew and Grandma Josephine on this side. Grandpa George and Grandma Georgina on this side. Mr. and Mrs. Bucket and little Charlie Bucket slept in the other room upon mattresses on the floor. In the summertime, this wasn't too bad, but in the winter freezing cold, drafts blew across the floor a night long as it was a fall. There was any question on them being able to buy a better house or even one more bed to sleep in. They were far too poor for that. Mr. Bokken was the only person in the family with a job. He worked in a toothpaste factory where he sat all day, long and a bench and screwed and the little cap onto the tops on the tubes on toothpaste after the tubes had been filled. But the toothpaste cap screwer is never paid very much money and poor Mr. Bucket. However hard he worked and however first he second on the cap was never able to make enough to buy one half of the thing that so large a family needed. There wasn't even enough money to buy proper food for them all. The only meal they could afford were bread and margarine for breakfast, boiled potato and cabbage for lunch, and cabbage soup for supper. Sunday was a bit better day to look for both to Sunday because then, although they had exactly the same, everyone was allowed a second happy. The bucket of course didn't stir, but every one of them, the two old grandfather, the two old grandmother, Charlie father, Charlie mother, and especially little Charlie himself, ran about from morning till night with a horrible empty feeling in their tummies. Charlie felt the worst over, and although his father and mother.